cheeky takeaway every now and then, but don't fancy all those calories. Gox here now with the solution you need. Now, first of all, there's nothing wrong with all those calories. I'm always about treating yourself, but the, you know, there's this huge thing with Asian food. A lot of people think it's like, you know, just packed full of oil and sugar and stuff like that. And there are some dishes like that, but not all of them. So get into this. Are we allowed to get chicken, into it? You've got chicken curry, egg fried rice, and you've got air fried chips in an air fryer. Have you seen okay. those air fryers? And chips with chopsticks. Chips with... <laughs> always, that. every single time. Okay. So I'm going to talk you through now the stages of making oh. this curry. It looks like we've got a lot of pots on, but for the power of television, we've got to speed through it as much as we can. So in this pan here, I've sautéed off some onions and some carrots, and in this, I'm going to now add in a whole load of garlic, and we are now making the basis to our curry sauce. And it's really, really basic, but it's so full of flavour. Once you've sweated all that down, we're going to add in these three powerful ingredients. We've got plain flour, we've got garam masala, and we've got medium curry powder. All the measurements are on the app. <laughs> are you enjoying that? God, this <laughs> amazing. your face there. This is uh, actually amazing. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. And it's so easy to make. So what you do is you whack all of your powders in and you are going to cook those through. This is really important. So like you would make a roux with a cheese sauce, you, what you want to do is cook those powders through, make sure they connect with all of the oils inside and here is a little tip as well this is a bottle that you can buy you put your own oil into it and it squirts it out so basically when you're pouring it you don't over pour and that clever and i'm josie stop looking at me like we're going to get married i can just see it in your eyes because i'm cooking for you I just love right it. once you've got <laughs> once you've got in your roux just here we're going to add some light soy and we're going to add in some honey for sweetness there we go. I've chosen completely the wrong spoon to get that honey out. But God, anyway. this tastes like it's got all my favourite salty fat things in. It, doesn't it? Yeah. But do you know what? It is kind of guilt-free. Um, it's, it's not got the same calories in as you would get normally from a Chinese takeaway. A couple of bay leaves. Once you've done that, we're going to start adding our stock to this. So this is just a chicken stock. You can make a vegetarian version of this if you are veggie. And you're going to slowly add it like that. Keep on mixing it through and it's going to thicken because of your powders. Keep on adding it through, like that. And then, if I was doing this, I'd do this really slowly, but because we're on telly, I've got to speed up. So I'm going to whack all this in, and you are basically going to be left with a really gorgeous curry sauce, and after a short amount of time, it's going to end up like this one, just here, the power of TV. It's going to thicken on its own, it's going to darken in colour. Once you've done that, we're going to strain this off. Oops, we're going to strain this off because those carrots and those onions, they're going to go really mushy. And so I don't like that in the curry. So strain it off. My wife said like to me, that. she said, when you're in London for the week, eat healthy, will you? 20 Look past 12, that. Korean chip. Exactly. I had this at 9 o'clock this morning after <laughs> rehearsals. So once you've done that, strain it off. Get all your curry sauce out. Look at that. Give it a little bit of a jiggle. Mm. Josie, don't look at me like that. <laughs> Jiggling it through, <laughs> like that. And you are left with a really gorgeous curry sauce. Now, in this pan, I've got more onions and more carrots going. I'm just going to add this sauce in, like that. I'm going to start cooking it through. Now, this is the proper curry. It's That's that why these easy. vegetables have lovely texture. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's been cooked through. God, Cook chicken clever. already. Cook chicken already. And then we're going to add in some peas. And we're just going to let that heat through. And now I'm going to make for you very quickly some fried rice. OK, so let that heat through. It just doesn't taste this. like it's half the calories. It tastes like it's a full-blown calorie. It's amazing, calorie. Isn't it? Yeah. Hold on. Hold on one second. You all right? Do you need no, a hammer? No, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Yeah. I was going to ask for a side of fat and salt, but I don't need it now. It's good. It's you are all go. good. OK. Yeah, really good. Our curry's on just there. We are now going to make a really quick fried rice. So in here, I've got a spray of oil, just one spray. I've got some onions, I've got some peas, I've got some peppers, and I've got some water chestnuts. We are nice and hot, lovely. And then, once that cooks through, we're going to whack in our eggs. OK, so two eggs, like this. And now this is the trick to doing egg fried rice. Whatever you do, don't put your rice in first and then put your eggs in, because otherwise it just goes into a rice omelette. So at this stage, put your eggs in. That is such a good tip. Gorgeous. That's a huge tip, yeah. yeah. Look at this feast and we're having. And he's clearing up as well. Yeah. I know, it's amazing, isn't it? And then, if we've got a top shot, you can see here, what we're going to do is we're going to scramble this egg just at the centre of the pan. You can see it start cooking there? Come on, you. Where are you? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think we've run out of gas. Hold on. Oh, I meant to stick some money in the meter. No Sorry way. about that. We've run, <laughs> we're running Sorry out of gas. That. Don't worry, don't worry. OK, we'll cook it through on this one. 
There you go, like that. So once you start seeing that collect itself and get really... Is that a runner? Oh. Oh, hold on, hold on. We might have it. Yeah, let's get... We've got water chestnuts in here. Okay, no, we've got water chestnuts. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to talk you through what we're doing, because there's no gas in there. Is there a little bit? Oh, OK, nice. basically, what you do is you put all your veg in, you fry it through, you put a tiny bit of garlic as well, then you put your eggs in, and you basically you scramble them at the centre. When they start coming together, you mix in all your vegetables on top of that, then you use cooked white rice. So this was cooked yesterday. You have to let it cool to room temperature within the hour, then get it straight in the fridge you've got one chance to cook it the next day. So this is a bit of a race. You then get your rice into here. Is it going? That's no. interesting, God, because I know people are concerned about letting rice cool, about bacteria and that kind of thing. It's OK yeah. to let it as cool. As long as you do it safely. So remember, you cook the rice, put it into a tray, lay it as flat as you possibly can. You then let it cool to room temperature within the hour. You then whack it in the fridge. Once it's in the fridge, keep it cool. You can then cook it the next day. Okay. And when you cook it the next day, you can see the grains separate. So when you get that fried rice, you get that really nice consistency. Mm. So once you've done your eggs, it's all fried through, you've got your veg in, you then get your rice in, you're going to stir fry it all through, and then we add all of our seasoning on. This is the gem. So we've got light soy, which is for salt. We've got dark soy, which is for colour. So that's where you get that really nice tone. We've also got some um, fish sauce in there. You don't have to use it if you don't like it. Love fish sauce. Oh, I love fish sauce yeah, as well. Good, it? Some sesame oil, also some white pepper. So once that all goes through, you may not need salt because these are all really salty, these ingredients here. So you whack it all through and then you would be left with... I mean, this tastes perfectly seasoned. A fried yeah, rice, really wow. like this. OK, we turn it out on here. Look at that! And then we get some of our curry and we dish that one out. Have you got a rice cooker, Gok? I have got a rice cooker. I do use a rice cooker all the time. I In fact, it. it was one of the first things my parents bought me when I left home. Yeah, to try and get rid of me, I think. <laughs> so they bought me the rice cooker. So you've got your chicken curry, with your carrots and your peas and your onions. And if you're vegetarian, you can use a meat substitute if you want to. You can use a uh, vegetarian stock. And then your air fried chips. And that is my version of a Chinese takeaway without all mm. of the guilt. It's and it's really as easy good. as that. Isn't that so yeah. easy? Well done. Did you love it? Really love it. What was it. your favourite part? Um, I like the curry. I wish there was a bit more of it. OK, we've got more in the kitchen. All right. <laughs> um, and what do you order from a Chinese takeaway? Do you know what? I grew up on a Chinese takeaway right. and I can still remember... What, on top of one? Above one? Well, yeah, actually, not far. It was across the road, but right. I can still remember the order. OK, what was it? It was a bag of chips, a pot of curry sauce and a portion of egg fried rice. And that would feed... Yeah. A family of four. Well, there you go. And literally, we've just made that, but you can now make it at home. Everything to make this is on the app. So go to the app. And I'm so sorry we now run out of gas. It was really important, actually, all these last crunchy bits, because they're yeah. delicious in there, the texture. Yeah. Really good. Exactly. Do you it's, love it? Yes, yeah, Friday night. Try this at home. Yeah. Oh, definitely. I grew up on this. My favourite. Thank it's you. Usually, uh, Thank it's usually it's usually Pete tonight. I'm not doing Pete tonight. Friday no. night. This. No. no. I just adore you. Well, love you. Yeah. Love you. Thanks, Thanks Thank so you. much. Bye. Brilliant. Bye. Bye. Well, right, keep your eyes off my chips, please, for details <laughs> of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from our chefs. Download the free This Morning app.